Okay, guys, so um, I've had a lot of questions about the Minkota Trova uh, trolling motor because it's a manual deploy. Most of the videos you've seen, I've been using the self-deploy uh, on the Ulterra. So tomorrow I'm going to go fishing with this, and what I'm going to demonstrate to you is how you can still reach the paddle uh, without any problems. I'm 5'10", so I'm just kind of average height and size. So what you do is you can stand up here, you just lean over your steering column, you'll push the paddle down with one hand, and then push this forward, and then you'll use a lanyard of your choosing, and that will lower it. And then to stow it back in, you just repeat the same process. You lean up, push down the paddle with one hand, pull on the cord with the other, and it comes in nice and easy. Now, if you'll notice, all I did is I just took a hose clamp and put it on here at the top, and then this is that little orange cord that I've talked to you all about. Uh, it's the perfect length, it's five foot. I attached it to my rod holder over here. If you'll look, I just drilled a hole through my rod holder and through the base back here. So it goes through the rubber and the plastic. And it's out of the way, I can still use my rod holder. It helps that cord kind of tuck out of the way down here in the foot well so it's, you don't have any problems with it. And again, this is the manual deploy so again, I can easily reach up, push down on the paddle, slide the head forward, grab my lanyard, let it down. And then when it's in the down position, you can see the cord here just hangs just the perfect length. It's out of the way, the canopy still raises, no problem whatsoever. So these little orange cords, you've seen them in videos before, so definitely work out great for this, just the right size. So keep watching. I'll attach to this some options for an extension on the paddle if that's what you want to do. Uh, like I said, I had a friend of mine, his wife is five foot one or five foot two. Okay, My, Kim says she's five two. We don't want to take that inch away from her. And so what she did is she just kind of got over here on one side and she just reached over and she was able to reach it as well. But I'll do a couple of modifications on that to help you all out. Um, sometimes it's easier to see someone else's idea. All right, so this is a modification I made for those people that might be really short or don't wanna to lean too far over their ski. I had a friend of mine, uh, his wife is five foot one, and she can still reach the original paddle. So what I've got here is if you look up here, is your plastic paddle goes right up here. And I went ahead and I just made a plate, welded this to it, and you got this arm. So in a more comfortable position from back here, you can simply push the arm down and then raise this up and then let that go down, okay? And then you can push this back down and retrieve it right back in. Now I'm five foot 10 and I don't have any problem reaching that paddle, but this is an extension that's added on just in case you feel like you need to do something like that. And again, it's an easy modification on your part. Okay, so this is a, one of the modifications you can do if you look up here. All I did is I took that bracket off and I just built a plate and put it through. Um, if you do this, uh, this adds about seven inches in length. So instead of reaching up here, you're, you're further back. I would do this out of aluminum, uh, something real light uh, and rigid. Uh, the steel, the steel plate, um, it's like a, it's just a little bit heavy so it doesn't spring back, but for the most part, it does exactly what it's supposed to. It'll push down, you can move the trolling motor ahead, and it'll let down, and then you can push it down to release, and then bring it back up in. So, um, I've got a second way with just a, a rod that'll show you how to do that. Um, you can do it with plate, but again, probably aluminum so you don't add any weight to where that spring can lift it back up. Okay, so yesterday when I was fishing, or if you remember, I had the orange cord. It went onto the hose clamp here, and it worked great, but when it would turn, the head would turn, it would uh, get under a little bit of tension. So what I did is I just found a dog collar here at the house, and that added about 14 inches. In reality, you probably only need to add about six inches, ran that through the hose clamp, then just clip that through one of the D-rings, and that will not have any issues or problems. So again, just little modifications like this uh, will help you out. The manual deploy on the Trova worked out great. 
no issues, no problems. Um, just needed to extend this orange cord. And I still like the orange cord. Now, again, you don't have to get an orange cord uh, like I've got. You could actually just use a dog leash for the whole uh, entire thing. Probably needs to be around, let's say, six feet. All right, so had a good day. That trolling motor mount makes all the difference in the world. We can get out there and spot lock. There's my trolling motor. I always put it in my truck when I drive a long distance home and I go down a lot of old rough roads. So it's only 30 second on, 30 second off with that quick release. Like I said, good day on the water. Nothing like fishing off that jet ski. Go to my YouTube channel, One Off Outdoors. And you can also go to my website, oneoffoutdoors.com.